Hello guys, welcome back to another scratch tutorial on how to make a generic platformer. So a generic platformer is those games where you find on the scratch website homepage. So this is something like it. It's a cool version of the platformer. It's a simple platformer. You can full jump, you can full like a real person and the only thing about the generic platformer is that you've got this delay right here yep that's the only thing but overall it's a good easy way to make platformers so let's make it so let's make a new project so in here we have a sprite named player and it's just a simple cube with a face in it and on the background backdrop we got a blue sky and a ground which is simple i just made it like this and so let's make the platformer physics so one green flag clicked i've got two variables here one is x velocity and y velocity and both of them are for the sprite only so uh, we'll set both of them to zero and we'll go to x zero y zero and forever we will change y velocity by negative one and then if key right arrow pressed or key D pressed then we will change X by 1 duplicate that put in the left arrow and A key and we'll change X velocity by negative 1 then we'll set the X velocity to X velocity multiplied by 0 0.9 and we'll change x by x velocity so now we've got this simple movement left and right so now we'll put in an if touching color green is basically the platform you want to touch then we'll change y by 1, duplicate that, put it inside that, we'll duplicate here, put it inside here, duplicate another one, put it inside there, and then in here we'll put in change y by negative 5, and we'll change x by 0 minus x velocity. And then we'll put in an if else block. Key up arrow pressed or key W pressed. Then we'll put in another if else block. Put in any more than x velocity more than zero. Then we'll set x velocity to negative 10. Else, we'll set x velocity to 10. And then we'll set y velocity to 15. And then in the else here, we'll set x to 0. x velocity, 0. So now we will add in a change y by y velocity and then we'll put in an if or key up arrow pressed or key w pressed And 
touching color green then you'll set y velocity to 15 and before that we'll put in an if touching color green then we'll change y by 0 minus y velocity and we will set the y velocity to 0 and we'll change y by negative 1 in hit there and change y by 1 put it all in here so I think that is it so let's check we've got the wool jump working the falling the gravity is good and overall the jumping is working so that's it so thank you for watching please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next part bye